Play the United States federal judiciary should, should rule that the President of the United States lacks the authority to detain an individuals indefinitely banned one as, as detention current U.S. detention policy or collapse the U.S. legitimacy bonds or take the Bush administration to the bench in 9-11 assert uh, uh, side-grain president on limited presidential power can be out three years and right now governing president then characterized law for the two detainees as a matter of conviction and of law for sure from a judicial review rule of law has been steadily undermined since we began the war on terror the American legal measure has been regulated as a trusted figure of good war or detention policies of the latter commitment to the rule of law and caused a dramatic shift in war between the United States messenger with the international trying to play the primary assassin is the argument the president is not bound by law and detention outweighs the other all causes wealth to Walsh, allowing the war on terror damage. America's image, America's lack of credit, voted legitimacy is critical because terrorism is not a conventional threat to a whole variety of policies. In fact, legitimacy, the most damaging, has been detention, and legitimacy is crucial to sustainable hegemony. Now is 90. No nation has has in the challenge America's predominance. The U.S. is geographic license to promote the rebels. U.S. authorities, capabilities about all other states in every aspect of power and internal processes will determine the durability of American unit polarity. But the U.S. can best ensure this order by ensuring its predominance for legitimacy. Voting depends on other states' acceptance of the hegemonic rule. The U.S. provides good public uh, public and federal enforcement of international uh, norms. Transnational institutions provide other countries with access to policy making to reduce resistance and encourage other countries to ban the legitimacy of American hegemony. Strengthen the sustained by democratic and accessible nature of the U.S. government. The U.S. is that it will hinder the ability of the U.S. swiftly as counterbalanced by the benefits courts are accessible to foreign nations. America's global laws change in his American politics and matters most. The U.S. Will, if, the, if the U.S. were to withdraw, the result will be a radical and putting at risk of major war. Use of force is much more likely to exhaust the resources of the state and lead to the loss of control. Legitimacy is far more efficient than the courts. Let's try not bring stable termination of law of rules of inflation from political pressure and power to facilitate legitimacy or report for the effect of the foreign policy in the U.S. hegemony is key to global supporting Chinese scale 11. The many actors may wagon with the U.S. hegemony creating the status quo that, that almost has led that, that new great power complex as hegemony withers. The result will be complex as history tests power to find the redistribution result of the combination post hegemonic role with return to and regional tra- tra- trade blocks, re- trade complex, and rivalry war power in American hegemony is one which great powers reemerge in indefinite detention increases terrorism in this multiple war and shut in uh, 12. The human rights violations are not accessible to credit and effective to fight against terrorism. The, the Alienate the communities with, with which the authorities should be working and add, add to the cause of terrorism by perpetuating root causes and providing, providing root triggering causes through which individuals turn to terrorism and hampers international counterterrorism and cooperation. This team, the U.S. from allies and indefinite detention is a key link to recruitment and causes a resource trade up which shadows the bona fide terrorism. How a detention of terrorism says that so that well, without trial undermine the rule of law and after security ongoing in interrogation treats individuals as a means to an integrate and within sentence prolonged detention and arrangements and so resentment for propaganda for fear of coming future terrorists undermine relations with us with our allies and border terrorists as combatants and war on terror and indefinite detention of Resources and attention away from other more effective means of combating terrorism. Al Qaeda is still a major threat. Breaches of the kind are premature and false. Sinai 13. When a complete compilation of all components are taken into account, the magnitude increases the likelihood of, of catastrophic taxes. Well, is that evidence that Al Qaeda continues to prepare terrorist operatives in the U.S.? The every time the threat is underplayed, it is followed by a major attack in Benghazi. Was was followed by the attack against Algeria. In fact, uh, that an attack that was comparable to 9/11 has not occurred. Should not suggest that a future one is not being planned. In 2009, Zazi and his associates were arrested for for plotting an attack against, against the New York City subway system, a terrorist group that feels. Trump will take its time to plan a few, but a devastating attack into incident databases uh, only account for completed attacks of such kind is expanded. The overall threat becomes much more severe. We should not be misled to complete the same terrorism because nuclear base of high theft and uh, tax escalates working in 12 baby bombs will result in panic and social economic destabilization. No large large cities are especially vulnerable. Ultra terrorists may be able to penetrate nuclear facilities, sabotage a research reactor, may expose hundreds of thousands of hydrogen radiation. There are no engineering problems that cannot be solved in terrorist society. Building simple gun pen, gun pen, nuclear device, and permission on the design of such devices is available in a public domain theft of weapons. Grim and uranium is also possible through our 100. To research reactors in the world that run on weapons grade uranium for terrorist bomb is comparable to Harris. Human explosion can kill a cost serious economic damage will also be political consequences. A nuclear terrorist attack will make the public accept measures with to enhance control unities. Restrict democratic liberty, such an attack in what will follow will cause violent protests in the Muslim world series of armed clashing. Terrorist attacks may follow the class of civilization. The remaking of the world order may come through the threat of nuclear terrorism. This role makes successful attack would lead to a radical transformation of the global order. Leads to a change in the technology and poor response mechanisms by hold. Third, TV technology allows stateless groups to organize, recruit, and, and, find, uh, and find an unprecedented fashion. That with the difficulty of punishing the disabled groups are positioned to be elite players, they may act in their own as practice for nation safety. Technology trends mean that small numbers can obtain lethal, lethal power and technically feasible for such a group to drive the human race to extinction. A rural fence will require rebuilding military and intelligent capabilities efforts go to combat this existential threat theme. Same fragment of it, fragments of advantage to its Venezuela. U.S. efforts to push judicial reforms in Venezuela through the Inter American Human Rights Commission are hampered by a hypocritical indefinite detention policy. Boss of the U.S. Both the U.S. voted to reform the Inter American Commission on Human Rights to push back harmful proposals by Venezuela that would have weakened the organization. The U.S. has recently faced tough criticism from the ICAHR, making it notable that they still defended the commission. We actively respond to the commission, even as it raises challenges for us. The status of detainees to secure our commitment to democratic principles. The ICAHR commission provides a needed voice for the commission's human rights. The U.S. has not acted on the important criticisms, criticisms that it has received from the ICAHR as part of the credibility gap. The U.S. faces in the hemisphere. Nothing that the U.S. has diplomatically will be as powerful as the U.S. ability to lead by example. If the U.S. wants to stronger human rights protections, that effort starts at home. Guantanamo and immigrant detention conditions will be
we can come to great places to start, and specifically it's true for a lack of U.S. judicial independence. You know, Option 13, how will the judiciary prevent executive plans of national security from becoming a loaded weapon named the essence of the American American judicial oversight of the executive national security policy to curb that which will fundamental liberty to add virtual review of the president. Blank check is it desirable that careful attention be paid to the courts to the basis of the government's claims of necessity. The judiciary's purpose is serve as is to serve as the check on the political branches of those branches without close judicial screening. No governmental body exists to, uh, to ensure the executive accountability. A heightened standard review, uh, review confirms the competency of federal courts to advocate disputes and announces and announces the confidence that the courts possess tools by acceptance by the courts of the government's insistence on the need for secrecy will compromise the defense of the, of the judiciary through judicial vigilance. The internment can remain a lighthouse in Venezuela and the denunciation of the Council on Human Rights means that the OAS's Inter-American Commission remains the best hope of providing judicial independence. By Route 13, ICAHR is deeply concerned over the Venezuelan government's decision to withdraw from the American Convention on Human Rights in Venezuela and denounce the, the convention as a tool of U.S. medley in line. America, Venezuela has not, also has not reversed that decision, giving the Venezuela remains a member of the OAS. The ICAHR will, be, will maintain jurisdiction to monitor the country's human rights situation. The court has established clear violations of human rights to with judicial independence. Maduro, the Maduro's charge that the Inter-American system was U.S. plan. The U.S. is not part of the system that does not acknowledge the court's jurisdiction or the common commission. The, the rights group suggests that Maduro's criticism analyzes and anchor to his policy stance on, on, the, on, on the one hand. It is promoting ratification of the commission. On the other, it is withdrawing and denying its inhabitants, inhabitants access to protection. And now is the key time because Maduro is consolidating the power of the economy, searching and having got released round up. Can you overrun? Can you you into all kinds of sorts of trouble? The release came within an ace of winning by presidential election challenge. The result in the Supreme Court was uh, Chavez got the, got the new president's legitimacy and down in, uh, and legitimacy and down in the money is running out of the bluster and is one of the few resources and not, not in short supply. Brazil seems more sure of protecting its business. Venezuela is in breach of the, of the democratic charter requires an independent judiciary and guaranteed resource of uh, recourse to the inter-American human rights. The Venezuelan opposition campaign is putting the presence on the pressure to support democracy. Venezuela's political majority and Maduro's weakness running in stability and judicial independence is crucial. Uh, crucial to, uh, actually, skipping that card. Uh, Venezuela is it's crucial to oil investment. Stop forcing our development jumps up to his time in case way for oil independence. We for 13. Chavez passing will lead to sort of political changes. The question is time for a significant impact on the global oil industry and the price of oil with the right investments. The country may easily support oil output of 5 million barrels. Venezuela has become the most important and hard location for oil, for oil, for oil, for oil, for oil, major special U.S. company oil executives will soon be sitting on Venezuela and the PD. VSA will be listening to their offers. Venezuela is an easier alternative to the Russian Arctic. There, they will have to be greater urgency. The Kremlin wants to conclude, wants to conclude ventures to exploit the Arctic. Major will come under increased pressure to take actions to start improving the economy. The only place the, the, uh, the, they can get revenues oil sector to the PD. VSA will need to keep boost through capital spending. The U.S. is on the course to become energy independent and more cheap, uh, cheap for a target for the U.S. has become more regional oil dependent. The only two only source from Canada, Mexico, and Venezuela, such an outcome will be very trouble for the U.S. economy. And when it's already, uh, they start the game change, already starting the global oil industry with the rapid growth of shale oil volumes in Russia and Indonesia development. Our take increases military competition. How much twelve the world's military leaders are preparing, are preparing for a new kind of war? They are to rise temperatures, will open up a resources in this blue potential conflict as the number of ships increases to exploit gas reserves. So, will the need for policing and military muscles to immerse rubble plant 30% of its untapped uh, natural gases in the Arctic Russia has been most aggressive. There are numerous factors causing a build of new military capability. Capable existence is only going to increase, but we may we want to maintain our edge up there. The U.S. remains a little for large core division. The Navy lacks ships that are able to operate in our Arctic ice support facility and adequate communications, communications on having iceberg gas mission is key to Arctic conflict, which goes nuclear walls, cables, tan, the Arctic is defense, bombing and zoning, own huge military competition, rock shoes, but a stable training for Arctic combat and Russia during the attacks and Marines was fought about the U.S. Coast. A national security director forced on Grady Prosper to spread the U.S. forces in the Arctic. These concerns are bringing stress to the fact that two nuclear weapons states, the nuclear weapons states, the United States and Russia Federation, which about 95% of nuclear weapons converge on the Arctic and have been defense, other things, other weapons unresolved. Together with those of NATO countries could have unresolved due to conflict as the use of nuclear weapons and extinctions, category of the international two, world war one, two, one, two epidemics have occurred. The in the big picture of things, and even the worst of these catastrophes are mere ripples. They have not determined long term fate of our, our species and the measure greater existence for existence or emerge with the development of nuclear arsenals in the U.S. and the USSR and all, 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 all nuclear war with the possibility with a substantial probability of nuclear weapons might not annihilate our species. Russia and the U.S. retain large nuclear arsenals and the arsenals. Uh, so we have been a deputy detaining people for 10 years, creating this anti-American sentiment that you have set in your terrorism advantage. What part of the plan reverses like the people that are hell-bent on attacking the United States from or to stop attacking? This sends a signal that we're closing Guantanamo. Our evidence so says the that people, one of the so, main So the families and the terrorist groups that have been tortured are then suddenly like, oh, they've revised their policies, we're good now. It's a question of recruitment and future recruitment goals. Our evidence says that right now, terrorists can point to Guantanamo as a physical representation of America's dominance uh, and, and control so, over terrorists. So, so and the indefinite detention is the only thing causing recruitment our Welsh, issues? Well, our Welsh evidence compares indefinite detention with other things that could cause recruitment issues and says that it is the most important. OK, your boss with evidence says that, uh, it's, yes, it does say the status of detainees. The line before that says, quote, from the death penalty and human rights of migrants and incarcerated children. How do you resolve those issues to credibility? 
Um, I think that that is, I, I don't know what, there, this is on the Venezuela advantage, first of all. It's not a question of those like foreign, it's a foreign perception. It's a question of checking the executive, the Basel government instead of checking the executive. I'm, I'm talking about the promotion of human rights. Yeah, I think that uh, some of that is talking about what's happening in Venezuela. The Basel government literally cites three off-causes, how do you resolve those? Um, first of all, I think that's talking about what's happening in Venezuela. Second of all, No, um, it's, it's, the, it's Congress's like, death penalty status and the human rights of migrants and incarcerated children. This is your first piece of argument. Yeah, the argument is that once we're able to check the executive, it's sufficient to solve. That's not an answer to the alt causes. Which, which contiguous well, I mean, Venezuelan, we the which contiguous Venezuelan courts causes. model the United States? What? Which contiguous or similar courts model the uh, a Venezuelan courts model the United States? Well, the Venezuelan federal courts, I don't understand. The federal courts, so is it the same? Do they set up the same federal judiciary with district well, courts, appellate courts? What is the They would not like change their entire court system. It's a question of them responding to things that we which want them to do for international organizations. Which processes do when they When we try to say that we should have to ratify human rights processes through the Organization and of American States. Which, what? It's not about their so, judicial system. It's, it's not, about it's the organization of American states and how they view policy on human rights. It's not like we want them to change every aspect of their court system. But we want the Venezuela to not have a... So I'm, I'm well, yeah, I guess it would have to do with Venezuelan courts, but the argument is that it's a question of their credibility through international organizations. Credibility of Venezuelan courts. Right now. Got you. I just want to make sure I have the internal link. I'm going to talk about the uh, Russian impact. Uh, what is the incentive for Russia to develop it or uh, in, invest in the Arctic? Um, they see it as a new energy resource because it's opening up due to global warming. Ending indefinite tension, how does that end Russia's new frontier? Well, ending indefinite tension would mean that they can stably invest in places like Venezuela because it's stable there. It's a question of Venezuelan stability. Oh, Other, otherwise, they You just said they, they see it as a new frontier. It's like there's a question of what Russia wants to do to get more oil resources. They want them. Either they get them from Venezuela. Also, if it's true that Venezuelan stability, stability over oil is the only thing that matters, why wouldn't international countries just prop up the oil industry, even if the rest of the country's shot? The argument is that they cannot prop up, just like prop up the oil industry if the rest of the country is unstable. Definitely a pure reason. It'll be five, and then um, a new solvency page. Terror in Venezuela at the policy. Okay. Is anybody not ready? Policy terror in Venezuela, right? Yes. Awesome. First off, the negotiations is out of Ron Strike is working out. Congressional review to commander chief flexibility supposed negotiations. The results are Ron Strike's approval of that's Ruben is in 20. Congressional government here are Ron Strike is working diplomatic goals. The results are missing in order to allow us to pursue our own and to deploy a diplomacy running. The inclusion a decision to engage here to Congress please pursue on the second weather. The DLC this case comes from the independent sense as the alternative. Congress wants to support law enforcement. The support spent states. The Ron Strike's law enforcement comes from the end of the year. The commander which eliminates here is here. Congress comes to brief. Hey, certainly does he have to put on another commander chief out of Ron Strike. Congress to deal that would render more harm to a part of the nuclear weapon. Ron Strike will cause a nuclear weapon. Seven eleven nuclear run could trigger pull in the release of Algeria, Egypt, Jordan, Sunday, have an issue in the nuclear weapons territory, right? Hey, sorry, by explaining ties, uh, ties with Pakistan, the idea which are the Pakistan's weapons and nuclear weapons and decisions, nuclear weapons, we highly destabilizing ounces of deterrence based on the core, the direction of the nuclear power towards the more important of the escalation, escalation, multiple other coalition, typically the event of the nuclear power school, but one way to look at the escalation of the early warning leadership would reside in the armed right training nuclear war. Next office, the counter plan text, the president of the United States requests his counsel at the office of legal counsel for coordination over his war power authority. The president should determine that the president of the United States likes the authority to detain individuals definitely. The and definitely, the counterplan is competitive and also have coordination with the OLC and ensure executive action that's more than 11 OLC based standards on the best view of the all now really was possible. Once OLC is arrived, it's treated as body within the executive branch unless the lesser world by the rest of the power world is wielded virtually never expected to reference OLC. It's you know, it's a reputation for any credible objective analysis. Why it's one of the main beneficiaries of reputation OLC can visually trust the opposite of the right elevators and the right elevators and the right elevators. The main industry is meant because the right of favorable opinion OLC is trying to explain the process of each administration starting to be so the next stop is the legalism critique. The important reach rights and privacy of liberal, liberal, liberal rather, legalism as a method of restraint. That's Mark Gillis and 11. The legal structure of commerce perspective, and press policies are temporary to first of all things. I'm hoping when the nation comes to sense, we vow never having it until the next time when it does the legal accounting 
the fifties, the bags on the recovery plotter, standing up, the beast runs the scotch bucks, and then we see that it's a book of the performers from the front seat, but it's just a pull of the diamonds from the right and everything change we've seen. This retention procedure on the pack of those who put the smart thing we must probably change. This causes endless violence and militarism, the alternatives about negative two doors, political rather than legal restrictions on presidential war power authority. This dose of nine nine laws, even limited force of civil civil system subjugation by the rest, just by restoration by appeal to the liberals, my identity perception neutrality objective system, little bit of theory is that on the direction of relative purism works in the theory, the little loss of recovery leaves virtual the virtual other is the perpetual foreigner. Next up is the politics is that Sierra will pass now, but it will be a tough fight that's no working ten thirty. He helps Republicans including Paul right now working for our document and with the central issue different kinds are coming in the house action then and worse than have become the first to sign a comprehensive building that will eventually appears to be building in the president of the has good action of the report so far said there's plenty of have the preservation system and the rule is you love will have a motivate the house you two as a examples of momentum because the Democrats are trying to pause the and become serious place where the Republicans go. You will see more Republicans getting over there's possibly for conference between the House and the Senate passing report is going to be tough to plan reverses these dynamics and sports an interbranch conflict to which derails the agenda that is crying or intent causing political powers and policy bringing out the significant ramifications of the runs, which is more important than the missing Congress can push Christians down to the other initiatives that Hubbard Club accounts for short of the court comes out available reading the principles of the media ramifications lost Congress appeals to the heights taking the right risk because the Mr. Suspend energy reading and getting his Congress Congress opposition to key to the usual agendas. Obama's push locks of the House vote but the window is narrow that's Shire in ten eighteen many between the House of Black Holes and Obama's agenda in Dublin of a major pass for hope that through the election of bad we might versus what's in we as it was given a fresh push by one of the ministers will no longer keep the immigration advocates over to opportunity to feel the answer that they're pretty unique. The CDC forecasts are all the Democrats carrying the debater will rebuke the demolition without going to a good push for comprehensive reforms key to prevent food insecurity that's gas containing the unemployment reforms struggle with the workers for assistance to seem concerns are that end of the workers working out because we're not sure issues we want to would like resources the more with the food discarded government policies they are really reason must legally employ those who don't have comprehensive reforms need to farm structures that what is like the health food solves the food world that's crept attention because the coming female technical systems the is becoming when new skis are for the major or is being something newly farms to go over we coming broadly because you credible for world two is faster. Next up is Tom County interpretation the affirmative must specify which federal court rules on their app they know that's a voter the priest federal judiciary is too big and destroys legal precision specification is good that's March of 1866 I vote's been opposed to the Federal Judiciary it'll be better since we've heard to be more direct the judiciary courts are not always necessarily the same in all cases maybe act judicial like me the active court the receiving courts of the United States Court the District Court the District Court District Court District Court District Court District Court was to inevitably prefer a unitary grounded education alternative court capitalizes the hard most education rates on topic and precision legal education is only heard through discussion of the court mechanism which the Apple was choosing clarifications by the same bank actors with the strategic value of the ones he puts in extra structure behind the outset solvency the executive will serve in judicial review on merits will force you to respond to a decision that's wheeler and I. The case pretty illustrates the difficulty of course in checking the acting of the political actors. Pretty solutions for recent reform administration has denied transfer for pretty so the customer said the effect of the structure of the attempts to be able to in court justice and denied any kind of to become committed to the administration to do so. That will force the plan decision to be reactive Congress and the president will force their will to detach the policy. This is empirically proven that as wheeler and I. Russell, Bush and Bush Supreme Court versus the team has denied access to federal courts of Bush administration in suit of repressive Guantanamo. Guantanamo by the team is known as a class test for you to run a design to determine the property test and make mass action effect the of the ability for the position to challenge the legal sites and the government of the certain order starting decision reports are always still the result of the reasonable amount of actions. Detention, uh, restrictions, increased rendition, and drone strikes, which is worse for uh, worse in terms of credibility that's called Smith and Colter. That's always been from between narrowing detention credibility and countries of operation. That's better for the company. Come back, go back to the detention results of more drone strikes and more outsourcing and rendition, detention, back on free rights. And we'll talk about your country itself for the rights of the Senate continues, but all we're doing is our entire small mass set to a place that is worse alternative to your decision and very much for human rights respect to the factor from suddenly in denial of the detention of the country become harder and harder to defend. Terror. The act causes terrorism, releases them, and kills intel gathering. The schools with the night, service with the denied detention power. We cannot secure our commission to terrorist standards of terrible essential for difficult theaters to become overseas and maybe difficult to use to make our intel. It's always best to interest us because all the criminal defense go free because of fact of the matter is your right people to get the information and restriction sale of insurance and relation to detention would stand to the rights of custom. Releasing dangerous terrorists that look great for our research because sanguine events for deadly or weapons. There's no resource internally. Your power limits is all better, which with those things is worse, but they also can't seal a bomb. Your again, that that all great powers have increased price and security to unprecedented levels, which which proves that there is only going to be. Steel arm and terror is also low now. We and terror are not focused on large scale attacks on the West, which best until proves that's accurate in 13. The heads of the U.S. 16 agencies, five perhaps, describe Al as on the verge of suspended. Al-Qaeda's core is great. I'll the care of the attacks on the West and fields are focused on low risk of single spike. Japan has not been considered war. Terror picture is no longer growing. Seeking daily weapons keep living as they look at the method of threats of the future. So, let's say the weather dimension for the rest of the world. Our efforts to keep going. Police threat is re emerging. Germany causes proliferation. Walter Feller resolves it. That's Warbird all seven. In these two world every nation, British will go to Korea. Some doing extreme American power. Some of the states to do that. It's better. It's going to glory in the world. Walter Feller states we see some of the the next part is not going to be used by because they are directly used by the terms of the new retaliation of the previous clear example of the relevant power supply in the commercial job extinction that's asked for barely in nine nuclear 
Those are these scripts made in heaven. They create new universal. There's always a mystery accent. There's great open things to rich and coming with the actual tension. You're coming with those shakes. I have the world of magic weapons. So encourage the fire of proliferation and internal world of our brains. These are like ancient spirits. Brains are new worlds. Internal proliferation. But essentially, we're celebrating the world. These are this. Maybe the world is getting better. Groups, but the hegemony has a war. Influence outcomes. Globalization. Legitimacy. Center. This. I can hear it all night. The universe needs to be prepared for the situation. We can stop Or the world is the life of bouncing out. Opposition. Increasing concentration. Can't believe you can hold me. In realization, all the shakes. Such resistance for offer. Can't. It's ever coming to the hemp scene. The universe really do exercise influence. You can't. No one loves you. You don't need to take the shock. The globalization reinforces the U.S. predicament. It's been the era of rebel leaders and world coming after all terms that I can rely on. The United States. There are no credibility silver bullets. It takes years to escape our legacies. That's great. Eleven. The ever license of wars to resolve the problems of America's empires. Unattainable over the first many years. Four percent of our war. Part of that piece of American perception. Reason with the total of the past. There's no terrorism in fact of retaliation because we don't know who to know, which means we wouldn't uh, go around and be everyone. Uh, now, the Venezuela bit. There's no U.S. judicial modeling. Our the EU model outweighs its law investing. It's one of the particular judicial reviews most powerful. It's not from Hyder by the U.S. over the past executive room for for Bush Constitution adopted European model abstract legal special like Bush approved the American model contrary views across special like the European proven that the former judicial review is a favorite country is not for the American in lieu for their all causes. You're both the evidence list detention plot uh, uh, the, 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 the death penalty rather an immigration detention as human rights issues that deter cooperation with countries. Additionally, Venezuela sailed out of Latin America bailing your authors of right wing alarmists that uh, Jukuri in thirteen that lie a uh, life meaning the death of Venezuela is home to bring him into the government prestige academics mayor of uh, using. He reports by the lies about the illusion of the against the economy, the purpose of the issue of government, health, education, has ever performed international relations targets. The first line of the issue with the economy, by the record, number four, the states of Venezuela is because government is lower than the original serving. The resources of recession predicate the economic health of the world are the inflation, then the case government is under control. U.S. and Russia are cooperating the Archie Nalas Robinson, full use of relying on the Russian isolation, the Libra Spice, and maybe the Russian has isolated the channel of the military, the Spanish state has been using on some recorder stations, second, America, America, Russia, 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 Chance of our war, international law institutions, and sovereign rights preclude competition. The spires are not a great deal of cooperation in our law existing. The object of the object of the land, these other means of the government trees exist. The point of the iceberg transition from protecting species of prevention of the revenue from these subjects are remaining by the species are modern. And so the negotiated system is cooperation based on sovereign rights. And the object of the interest in the world's conditions of international rights are the results of the country's cooperating because the sovereign state of sovereign rights and physical cooperation by the U.S. regulation of the national producers of regarding security threats for public competition. There's no uniqueness to your economy. I'm saying that the OIS is key to the transition, just as that the that compares or the current president. Challenge their scopes and the status quo, which proves that the app is not necessary to solve. Additionally, is the Europe is empirically not. The US and Russia didn't engage in conflict over the core. There's no chance that they go to war over some might Also, 97% of the Arctic resources are already claimed. That's Mahoney in 13. The Arctic is our company. This is nonsense. The Danish administration, Arctic Republic, perception of the Arctic is already claimed. It's also extremely well already. 97% of energy resources belong to someone already. The actual one of great businesses, environment, which will create security. No Russian threat that is leaving repress in six Russians should be due to their Arctic. It is sharply deteriorating. Nuclear force Russia has hardly read for use. Leave repress evidence with market use. What's the status of the case? Um, the Iran is sad. The link is entirely about Congress and their position on Iran negotiations. How is this a link? Disagree. Okay. The Rubin evidence says uh, uses Congress's intervention in the Syria debate as an example of something that was a review to presidential war power authority. No, it says Rubin that evidence. if Congress were to meddle in Iranian affairs, that is bad. How does the plan? Do That's that? not what it says. It says that spoiling the president's flexibility over negotiations is what results in Iranian policy no longer being effective. Iran doesn't care if it's the court or Congress checking the president. They know the president is weaker during times of self an uh, external restraint, which is okay. why Iran does so not put on Congress. Why didn't why did Syria mean that he has no game with Congress? Well, because they didn't actually have to vote to undercut Obama's war power authority. He consulted them, but they didn't have to say the yes, no intervention. So what is different? What is what does the plan do about current Iranian nuclear negotiations? Right. Uh, Ruben Evans said that Iran will perceive Obama as weaker during times of negotiations when the president is constrained by external means. Our argument is that that is the app policy on war power authority. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the counter plan. What is the advantage of OLC coordination? I mean, the net benefits? No. What does the OLC do to, to, in order to coordinate the executive branch? They tell Obama what he should do. OK, so the evidence says that this is binding within the executive branch. How does the counterplan send a signal that it's within the law? Well, because the president doesn't overrule it, which means we stop indefinitely detaining people. Why would the president stop indefinitely detaining people if the OLC is just like, well, we shouldn't? Well, there are two arguments. First is that Obama wants to maintain the credibility of the OLC because it's effective for him in future policy endeavors. But the second is that Obama has never actually over overturned an OLC decision. Our evidence says that, yes, the president has the power to overrule, but this power to overrule is wielded virtually never and uses torture mem memos as an example of when the OLC told Bush to do something and Bush continued to do it right. because the OLC told That's him fine. to. Um, politics, why does Obama push the plan? Our primary evidence says it's irrelevant whether or not he pushes it, it derails his agenda. Okay, why does the plan derail his agenda if he doesn't push it? 
because Congress views him as weaker. Congress views him as weaker. So Congress votes to view him as weaker. How does this cause a trade-off of negotiations on the immigration debate? I mean, our primary evidence is fantastic. It says that opposition stands to derail his agenda because when he's looked at as weaker from external hackers, Congress doesn't think that he has the ability to do the arbitrary would, negotiations that are okay. necessary to get CIR through. That's fine. Uh, why is PC key anyway to CIR? It seems like your evidence is like, post shut down, the GOP wants to win, so therefore they're going to do something. I disagree with that. That's a reason why some Republicans have gotten on board. Our Shrenan evidence says that the reason why political exactly. capital is necessary is that it brings not only more GOP to the negotiation table, but it hammers out the comprehensive legislation that is necessary. GOP is pushing for piecemeal reform now. The problem is that Democrats want comprehensive immigration reform. Your evidence reform, says that the people switched from piecemeal to comprehensive after the shutdown because they perceived it as a loss. That is what the evidence says. No, it says they want piecemeal reform, which is the difference yeah, between status exactly. quo and Obama negotiations in the future.
It just says that we need to specify which words we use cross section because they could have asked. There's no ground laws because structural. This says like judiciary would still Wednesday after nine resolutional base that says there needs to be judicial restrictions. Anything more is infinitely aggressive and unpredictable and counterinterpretation. Normal means should determine the agent. This is best. It allows an to read evidence, get links to this, and increase research about the topic. Probably normal means means that you would uphold the forced decision, potential abuse of the voting issue, actual abuse of when it occurs. And it doesn't make the plan conditional. What we defend implementation court saw Reinhardt and six. The rule just general laws are no different during times of peace and don't allow government to all personal liberty and social property. The plan is very constitutional. In conclusion, the judicial and constitutional rulings will make more difficult than unconstitutional to punish the people and the people of the country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The judicial and judicial actions will not resolve or purchase not to the court and not allow the people to retain their government and support their government power. Go to solvency, circumvention, debate, and sit in the possible on the end of the tension part in five. Being called the question before culture provides a significant piece of freedom and the proper position of the city and the judicial position of the people of the people of the people of the city. That's the city's fourth process. The court will be given a new order to follow the fourth member of the court and prevail against the public position of those who wish to adopt their statements and certainly provide an ongoing internal assessment of the administrative system of the administrative system of the professional peer plan. The real court has to correct the people wrong, tell them don't take help in the judicial exchange in Venezuela. The decision is the internal link built with you. If they disagree, Brown, then more than 13. Perhaps one of the judges is essential to generally have the first discreet hand, which is that the president of the Supreme Court decision is before the court's decision goes to the law, which is the law, and they can state the law, and state the president means that the effect of the law is not responsible for the law, but would provide the posture to high political denial. The potential little grants will notice yourself about the policy decisions of the court, not the matter of voting suits. The separate notice will have a majority of the people in the system to stay, but the decision is not the law, which is the best, it's not 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 the best, it's not
in the debate. You've read a lot of evidence that the executive has no incentive to circumvent judicial decisions. What piece of evidence does Congress does not Okay, we read a couple of pieces of evidence to say that they can't circumvent judicial decisions, and it's not about Congress's ability to circumvent because the executive would check that. If the executive is seen as failing confused. to comply with the so judiciary, after Rasul versus Bush, Padilla versus Bush, Hamadan versus Bush, Bomadi versus right, Bush, all, all of these decisions the resulted in Congress passing different tribunal mechanisms to avoid the court ruling. What piece of evidence says they don't do that? It actually step? didn't result in Congress passing specific legislation about. You are objectively incorrect about that because the Wheeler okay, evidence I, says that the CRST was a result of the Rasul ruling. Do you want ruling. an answer to your question? I just want a card that you think says Congress doesn't circumvent your act. Okay. Our evidence indicates that the executive does not have the ability to circumvent the act, you're right, and it makes the claim that Congress would not be able to do it either because they don't have enough political capital with their decisions. Not Additionally, a strong court ruling that rules the indefinite detention unconstitutional okay, um, can't be circumvented in the Vladic court evidence, of evidence what, was because it evidence, didn't make a clear decision. Vladic evidence, sure. what piece of, what, are you, what previous ruling do you think affected detention policy in a way that would have forced us to use drones? Oh, you're talking about the Vladic evidence on the drone ship this yes. correct? Okay. Let me pull that card up just because we read a couple pieces of Vladic evidence and I want to make sure I'm talking about the right one. But basically it makes the argument that judicial review is effective besides the detainee evidence or populations. For example, Clinton and Dominion required us to change certain aspects of the detainee population. The detainee population, we've read another piece right, of evidence. We can both agree that, that these aren't even close to the scope of the time. app. Is what? We can agree these aren't even close to the scope of the app. Sure, but we're not adding sure. new detainees okay. now. Right? Detainee populations not are declining really over the long term. Wrong. We're not adding new okay. detainees, which uh, is the only the question that's already there. There's a shift that should have already happened. Uh, now, I'll agree that before I cut this Evanger card and put it up on the wiki, I thought it was pretty good. But this evidence doesn't say which terrorists we actually do release. Which piece of evidence do you think that says that the high level terrorists in Sector 7 in Guantanamo that will be released post plan are not a threat to national security? Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is that a ridiculously small percentage of them will actually return to indefinite. Well, well right. So the way that Guantanamo works, right? is that Sector 7 is in different, like, a area within Guantanamo for all the high-level threats that we think are actually terrorists. Those people have never been released. Okay, the app releases first off, them. What piece of evidence speaks to this? The app doesn't explicitly release terrorists, right? If those terrorists are, if people in Sector 7 are proven to be terrorists, then that means that they could have a prison term, which is different from indefinite detention, because they would lose their court If that hearing. is true, what piece of evidence do you think says the courts or the government won't use the coerced evidence they're using in the status quo that people in Venezuela and the Venezuelan government thinks is bad? Okay, it's they're ch changing the indefinite detention statutes changes the kinds of evidence that they can present, right? The plan by well, you just say in indefinite detention, you don't change the evidence that can be presented at trials, which can still be forged, which is what everybody's pissed about. No, people are pissed about military trials and how they're not happening, right? right no one is getting trials, a trial in in a civilian court when they use coerced evidence. I think you're against explaining your a couple of different that. scenarios and trying to make it sound like you're talking about something. <clears throat>
Uh, well, I'm attaching it. The order will be the Arondizad, the Counterplan, Solvency, Arizona, the best way I've managed. Counterplan, Solvency, Arondizad. Terrorism? Sorry. Terrorism. Uh, and the other thing. Can you repeat the whole order? I'm sorry. Yeah, around the head. Around the head. Kind of plan. Kind of plan. Policy. Policy. Uh, terrorism. Terrorism. And the other thing. Okay. Got it. I read, is it not going for all concede the knowing argument of the impact events will be answered on the head flow independently? There is no, uh, the, the courts do not, the courts are not concerned about means there is no, uh, link to this counterplan not going for permutations are a test of uh, competition, not an MC counter was good logical decision making if there are multiple costs that we can, not a glue twisty search to the encounter was in the twisty deal with the straight turns with the counterplan can't solve linear education more counter was good with the structural, but it's just by the persuasion of the two AR, uh, what is the block that can be the center of the base of the day, uh, the two AR, uh, the, the, the two AR, uh, options are key to the overwhelming specificity by itself, potential views not of the order, there is no argument of responsibility, no difference, no difference that you choosing to go, uh, for the internal policy, there is no Correct. You solve the deficit. Uh, 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 solve the deficit. Add-ons do not hurt them. There are one kind of solve contradiction. We can read the can't understand the cap. Can it is also not that we can just read the one. Either time, 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 time. The interpretations are legitimate. They uh, they let the company arbitrarily make the practice slightly better for them. Create risks at the bottom instead of us. With theory of the substance that they get. And interpretation will only allow two uh, conditional options. No voting, not a voting issue. Uh, not a voting issue. Uh, we're sticking with the evidence. Now the uh, solvency made there. Uh, more evidence is terrible. It says that the judicial view is only uh, good if the judicial view is terrible. Real evidence is the direct answer that says it cannot work because the uh, executive will circumvent it in the context of. Uh, in the context of moving the uh, moving the uh, uh, case to a different court before the uh, judicial view goes into place, this means that they cannot solve it. Also, means that they bring the trials, means that the credibility is never set. Any signals outside that uh, they uh, have also seen that they can, they can see the risk of the uh, reactive decision, the reactive decisions which made uh, lead to haphazard decisions, which is problematic because that means that uh, no decisions that were credible. The OAS cannot be credible here. Is there was a double point on the media? Yeah, rushes to the decision. The decision twist turns the app will take too long in the two. Uh, they won't be able to establish a precedent fast enough. We will not need judiciary. It takes too much time to make decisions. The case is usually one of the way through the federal justices of the Supreme Court of the one. The Supreme Court professional act with the process of procedure the norms breakdown. The Supreme Court of the Supreme Court is a prime example. The court easily uh, can be a special session. They issued a decision against the defendants. The days it was not until the Supreme Court issued a opinion justifying the decision. Which the court other plan says the plan does not solve the condition. It leads to it because it leads to things like the CRSC, which happened to be. Because of a reactive decision by Congress, those cross sex there is they also lead you to the uh, which was our uh, wheel arm. It's also the, the, the internal link about Venezuela is not true. If, the, if the, we are seeing this uh, uh, into extraordinarily renditioning people, that means okay, uh, to the prevent Venezuela will, will still point that and say that is wrong legitimacy. Now, the uh, F causes terrorism there. Uh, the F causes terrorism. One is that our more our, 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 our evidence is better and says that the uh, it kills the international cooperation on counter terrorism. It's because we have counter terrorism because people do not want to get drawn in to the to the fight. They, they don't want to be uh, tied to America in operation. Second is that. The high value targets get released. This is the distinction between their 5% threat arguments. Yes, the uh, threat might be low of everyone getting released. However, the targets that would lose their cases, or the, 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 the would win their cases, are the uh, high value targets, which go back and uh, respond to them, which would go back and respond to that. Uh, means that they kind of win on military detention. Key targets in 13, the detention gen, and this only means that the forces on the executive authority to deal with the complexity of the detention gen. Uh, they would establish by the techniques of the procedure that has run through the hands of intelligence and provide dangerous with all the return of the fight. Now, the we lose the cases that's going to the six of these trials or unnecessary in the United States. Well, therefore, that was the announcement of the trials. For only ten, because it's simple to try to come to like the evidence of crime is not from certain for only big crimes against the witnesses who have been more evidence that's about here since the trials will uh, circulate the defendant that will lose the trial of the followers will to more or less force the foes more mark the foes now there uh, the threat of the terrorism is low now which is uh, disproves any of your risk because uh, uh, because the, there's a consensus on outside Al-Qaeda as well uh, they do not have the, the, the conventions or the capabilities here uh, is more evidence that there is no WD terror that's from here on 13 the here rock team is here some more to look at the terrorism the way large terrorism requires so much coordination they cannot go out there with the communication of the records are they the leaders face some problems with the Tell the police inherently unstable recruits. We have disposed of violence not like the villages follow orders that have managed to drop her. Can't long-term strategies, little bit of people pass them on. Do not choose them right now. 
find she was her mom. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Amazons are traitors. They will later on. They need to coordinate the things that terrorists would achieve. They just sold the seeds of the undoing calls for emails. Stretches of all the opportunities to disrupt North. They 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 disrupt North.
Pacific and Migrant Problem facilitate the agreement now. There is no war there. One is the international law treaties exist. Uh, the ice breaker transit means that the uh, escalated independent institutions and sovereign rights are also free when cooperation disproves that our commercial interests may war up with the war. Not possible young and intense the going of the cold with the freedom of another policy. We have the cooperative agreement arrangement there. Yes, and if you don't know witnessing of the American art, if there is ample reason to bring up the standards for our country, less of the struggle with the story of the starvation of the art, the art, the art, the art, and out there have also conceded internal, also, uh, also Venezuela will not cut off their uh, input. That's already since six of the events with those funny exports are highly unlikely. All the what the government said about the super prices were uh, quickly resettled, but even closing down the blanket is just happy to spend them. arguments. One is that in cases like Padilla, uh, Bush moved the court, the case that the court would be in, to a civilian court to undermine the judicial review process so the judicial review is never credible or actually finished. That means that uh, that would just happen again because Obama would just, whatever case you try on, he would just move the case to a different court to right, undermine the judicial review. It's in the context of judicial review. That no, it's about the federal government doing things that change the standing of the combatant prior to the court case happening. Uh, are you making that, the argument that, that a court case doesn't occur, or that the president circumvents the decision? Because your argument does that, not that the decision is says. never credible because that the the standing of the court, so i.e. Padilla, he moves it to a civilian court instead of a military court. That means that the judicial review is not credible or possible to like enforce a statute. Right, because they remove his standing with the Supreme Court prior to the case occurring. I'm not confused How does your evidence speak to judicial review that occurs? <clears throat> uh, Wheeler also makes uh, the reactive decision making. Uh, means that it's haphazardous and bad. That's the standing of the judicial reviews that occur. Because they have to uh, respond to the quick moving Congress, which means that they, uh, the, the example they give is, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the case is, let me pull up, this is the 2NC. It was, um, That's actually good, I have a couple more questions that I want to get through. So let's just move sure. on to the tariff load. Cure, it was the Cure case. So, okay, yeah. so you really, okay, let's just move on. Uh, so you read a piece of Thomas evidence that military detention is Good, but it says that military detention is not the only means of dealing with foreign terrorists. Okay. Where do you think this makes an argument that military detention is necessary to combat terrorists? Uh, our um, Morris evidence from the top, or the, from the one seat also says that. And it says military detention resolves the issue of terrorism. Yes, there are other means to uh, fight terrorists, like droning people. It's all, it probably would be an all cause that didn't go for it. Uh, however, it means that military detention is a way to combat terrorism. And if we win the other two cards, the Morrison card that says we lose the cases and destroy cooperation. It literally says that it is not the only means. It says that it is designed to do these things, but it's not the but only means. detention way to do ensures the availability of established tactics, techniques, and procedures, and is meant to en enhance intel gathering and prevent dangerous forces. I'm glad you can read the first line. The second line provides that sure, next reason why the detention is. that by saying it's not the only means of doing it. I'm confused on what your question is. Okay, that's fine. One last question. Let's talk about the head debate. You read a couple of new a bunch of new impact terms here, and I want to talk about the multiplarity solved evidence that you read sort of close to the bottom. Sure, the Schweller evidence. Um, the card's great. Okay. Glad you think so. So, the Schweller evidence doesn't seem to make a claim that multiple, like, I don't see where it makes a comparative claim. Maybe oh, I'm just uh, missing that. Oh. Yeah, you are. Uh, it says that the reason it wouldn't cause war is because the liberal order <coughs> would not uh, be undermined in countries seeking, have multiple, right. seeking interest. Yeah. Like, this, this card is like, So I'm, I'm sorry, this card is really good. It's just yeah, like, oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, you're psyched about it. Uh, oh, here you go. Yeah, okay. Oops. Uh, that will be the K. And then all, so. Not 
Fertigue not going forward, we see the permutations of justice as a competition of firmness, not a voting issue, we see that potential abuse is not a voting issue, when T proves that there's no under abuse means he can't vote on it, also takes out the impact of conditionality. Now, the politics have said that this not always your form of food shortages are coming in the status quo, and it guarantees miscalculation, miscalculation, that's a critical evidence, it turns the app, it's weight, it's terrorism, immigrants, CIA also has a resource trade off internally, allows us to fight the war on terror better, that's Griswold, into a migration, that's the security and legalization workers, and hands are next to you, vibrating the underlying workers, and opening, encouraging workers to cooperate with law enforcement, and freeing up resources for border security, and the war on terrorism, the impact of immigration, and the first and first war on terrorism, visa points, this the impact of Venezuela. Well, it's key to Latin America's stability. That's codes in 10. The lack of comprehensive immigration reform appeals to Jerusalem to Latin America undermines U.S. interest in the region and the balance of immigration reform exploitation. The well, U.S. Latin America relationship between the U.S. relationship relation to the two, which is important. It provides the people of the United States economic relation to a different solution to our trade. Changing the combination of the U.S. immigration reform. Sorry, shouting the cumulative report to avoid the elements of the immigration rights and diplomatic government support. The enemy is now twisting the reward. Yes, there's an impact to yes, there's an impact to food shortages. That was despite the overview of probabilities. Also, on our side, history proves that shortages are the most likely cause of extinction. That's brand new. Food shortages brought down the mindset position. We are just Closing that the death of our civilization no longer has to be by the eight or the rights of our civilization civilization more than food shortage of people who are supporting the and cause of food to anything that's the weak line. Then, but yes, there is a weak line magnitude food shortage. We also went magnitude food shortages being extinction that's topic is in 96 human beings are being heavily dependent on food. The entire human family is building now. Hunger is a human being's limited family. So the third of the one which are a single share civilization. Our choice number two first is there's no means of the past now. Key house Republicans are tackling the legalization of multiple defections for a comprehensive or first comprehensive lobbying. It's all possible. It's preferred predictive evidence of the Democratic bill is by far so to be said. More people will be on our side than someone to know again. They will also will pass with Obama's leadership. That's Sanders in 1028 immigration reform. So it has to send a bill to Congress. Obama should have had anything over there. But it's been that it has what the president doesn't have a huge part for. The Democratic media series, Obama will believe, or maybe his leadership, but he's back up in the title. Momentum and Bipart now is lean 1038 Velcro. Velcro became the third Republican to work for Trump. Help me vote. Mills for the vote. The other state of Republican leadership has over the party of immigration reform. Mills for the Lindsay Nation by Marcin Jabot. It will pass now with Obama and be their optimism. That's Jim Working. 1024 Obama should have damaged in the Congress. It has an entire resolution. But has we do come to the thing. Some of the other ones have been there. Please give me a comment. Evidence was seen by five days, which is reason for because the political sphere is always changing. Which means you're always on the side of more recent evidence. Now, choice number three, I will do the link to make here. You can see the fine errors of late lead to congressional backlash because of the checks on Obama's presence. Make him look weak between his car session. On attacking the plane, also makes Obama look, look weak on the war on terror, which Jackson's agenda. That's Capital 13. The, the first was on the Tornado because of the political sphere. The politics of terrorism could overwhelm the administration's domestic agenda. The first time in the state of Tornado, the first time in the perception of the immigrants, we security. The uh, plan center lawmakers will go past the perception of the legislation. The plan makes, uh, and, and, uh, Hold on, sorry, can you pull up that one court card? I don't know where it went on what. Alright, and, choice C4. Capital doesn't fail, Obama's negotiations are key, but he's using restraint. That's no more continuous 25. One, Jimmy, the immigration is missing. I just missed the idea of Obama's further training. Obama's showing the testament how the president is built. He can use his bullet, but the president is definitely a big player in getting the immigration reform. Now, we don't have the immigration reform. The ever capital is also key. Obama's necessary broker for comments. It's been in first in 1724. Obama, Jimmy's hangs over. It's one of those rulings are a new and finding his right as we reverse the same element in Jackie Rice. The local government is doing impossible. Obama gets more than half of his growing as well. Once I want to tell him what's wrong in the video, once he's trying to have it, it's indicated that Obama's necessary to get negotiations on the table, which means that even if you're laying out this correct debate, has some influence. He is necessary to negotiate there. Now, sorry, back to choice number three, the link to make. Here's evidence specific to the court ruling. Court detention cases cause congressional backlash on detention. That is our uh, Amorettes and Wiseman 6 rule with the to the political victory legal defeat in by the Supreme Court. I go from the way high court issue in fighting for some rules of the nation for the public country. The leadership of the government will reduce a political weapon. The decision for Senate Bush and Kitsu Democrats play for the public coalition. This also rules our circumvention arguments. If we win the link to make the public to prove that Congress is a incentive to circumvent the gap. Now, choice number five. First is, first is that if they go for this, they lose on top of the court announcement is part of their decision, which means they violate should. Because they're mad at me, that's sometimes important. The question is whether the word should come in and fairly maybe the person they're, they're pressing it. It means at the present time, the legal words of the first time show, which is effectively made illegal. Or, yes, like the, the judge is double city, he's ruling in the present. The, the court also gives decisions anytime during the year. Given this your definition, you should err on the side of caution. That's U.S. Court in 13, with the exception of the Senate, there's no rules concerning when the decision released. So, while some of the United decisions are handed out as early as December, we're cross the JSPAC office. You're going to be specified as judiciary's voting issue. This side does uh, the potential abuse arguments do not apply anymore because there's inner abuse based on you. You change your advocacy, say the Supreme Court gets out of our policies that if you had specified to go to speed, would have added one single like specific discourse as well as the Muslim score station, which proves that there is an offense used by the cross and check this because you would have been big about it, which proves that if you go concerned and you lose on both J Spec and the show violation plan, now to see number six, even if you are still the plan still links your evidence says that the public doesn't know about the judiciary ruling, but the government obviously still does. To see seven, the Obama not pushing that that's why they still explains because Congress backlashes the F. To see eight, the courts do not shield that is Calibrating with the Supreme Court issue, ruling competition issues, and ruling the program opportunity for the Democratic government is not coached to the social level. Obama, I'm saying he's really in a position that isn't going to show Obama, surely he deserves his back. Now, to the December report, the Supreme Court is really supporting the link evidence. I read about those specific courts, which proves that you're going to shield your choice in order that this side is intrinsic. The, the uh, spending courts, as well as the negotiation links, prove that there's an opportunity cost to your actual politics. This is good. The key to current events education, which is useful mainly because it promotes political research. They're also the bottom line generic on the topic because there's no topic. This has that are intrinsic counter expectation, a topical intrinsic, 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 intrin
plus you have to spend the lower distance at 2010. The detention of specific evidence outweighs uh, above because we read specific evidence that the court rulings on detention is what results in corrective backlash. Additionally, saying your June argument is the reason why you don't get a court number argument because none of those will be announced on June. However, the app based on the JSON arguments as well as the fiat immediacy arguments mean that you do not get access to this argument. Now, 2010 and 2011, the foreign bill arguments, uh, uh, immigration is top of the docket. That is worth the law reform in 10. The president's first priority is to pass comprehensive immigration reforms. Speaking of the Senate, Andrew, the president told me the president less immigration this can be done in the year. The evidence is tool. It doesn't say that it's actually on the top of the docket now or that Obama is putting PC into it, which is the distinction. It's also, it comes after immigration. That's Pavis in 1021. With the end of the door, the former Senate who run the general consensus of permanent social new pro reform bill would approve a Congress of President Obama for a public reform. It's less of a period answering the immigration reform. Now, the last argument is the PC hide name. You have to view PC through the lens of, of relative the popularity in response to the Republicans, which means even if Obama might look weak and swift credibly now, the Republicans certainly look worse with proves that he saw as the over negotiations. His PC is also high. That's also 1017, where when the President gets the opportunity to remove shutdown this party, he wants to try the opposition more. This right there, Obama now has the opportunity to leave the Senate's party to explain these official presidents right here around the keyboard and win support for the House of Republicans. More evidence, Christian Science, more interesting to see this force of shutdown the Dark Horse President Obama. Looks like a winner.
Yes. Okay. Um, so it's going to be solvency, the Venezuela advantage, the terrorism advantage, the politics advantage. All the first seven is not the context of a movement move into a different court. So the question whether or not he moves to a different court makes a question whether or not they actually have a fair trial. He probably the the Swiss. He said that there will be executive compliance because they were able to listen to it because the costs are too high of doing so. The Mark Nevin says that the internal checks, so there's also internal checks which check back Obama from wanting to shift decisions. There are, uh, there are, their evidence is uh, a good bunch of it's just, a, it's just snapshots of the situation. You should prefer evidence that says that Obama will not create emergencies in order to not be able to solve that. Is the uh, Mark Nevin says the next number is about reacti reactivity now, but it's prior to the case happening, which means that that is not a question of that. The, 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 double blind argument is not really a double blind because the plan's declaration is us versus the key now. All other fiat immediate arguments means that, uh, what means that the plan happens will, will still happen immediately, immediately, which means the cases happen now. It won't take too long. Even if they, if, even if they don't win those arguments, it's not take too long because the plan's declaration is key to get those decisions in the process, which means that they're ready to shut up. It's not, it's not very good on this question. It's who we see virtuous evidence says that the precedent of the plan is key because it's able to create a situation, a situation with they both Congress and the executive, which means they won't shift away those uh, decisions, uh, those decisions, which means that they have, uh, which means it works just a short delay that they will comply in the long term that the Venezuela advantage. We won't, be, we won't, we won't go for it. Can see that there's Venezuela is stable now. Can see that there's Russia cooperation. Can see that there's no risk of Arctic war, which means there's no uh, terminal impact advantage, no offense. Now the terrorism advantage for, uh, first, uh, uh, for first the argument of why the uh, first the internal link debate. The question uh, they are conceding the root cause coming about why recruitment of terrorists is uh, we can only reduce recruitment of terrorists, which means the reason that uh, we, 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 we check back any of their intelligence sharing arguments. Now the plan is key to intelligence sharing because it's able to have a fair trial. There more their evidence about cooperation uh, is not responsive to this is not responsive to this because if there was a high value target there they would be tried and then they would be guilty if they actually committed a terrorist attack which is the reason that all that the people that get released are always low value targets which will not cause terrorism which means that there's no cases now that would be able to have that now the impact made uh, they conceded the terminal impact that terrorism leads to extinction the viral evidence says that it's because of technology and force response mechanisms leads to destabilization of the entire society this is an existential risk because it leads to extinction leads to retaliation all of that is conceded. They're only now the terror threat load debating Sinai evidence is predictive on this question. They're conceding the 2AC, uh, uh, the 2AC warrants from this evidence is that the perception of weakness means the terrorists will jump on the chance we indict their databases, say that they're flying the status quo. The Dvorkin evidence that the technology is a reason that they have these four response mechanisms. Now the hegemony debate, the hedge solves war and equals a bandwagon. In fact, the Genghis evidence is best on this question because it says that we can prop up international systems, solve stability, and also interest putting around the world because we are the only ones that provide the sustainability of international institutions, solves back all of their multipolarity answers. Now they say it turns terror. It does not uh, turn terror because we are better with intel cooperation because cooperation from our allies, they all see this as hypocritical to them, uh, uh, which is the reason that it doesn't turn that back. Also, uh, also it's a question of whether or not we can influence multilateral institutions. The plan does that through the Jiang and Xi evidence doesn't turn off. Uh, the turns Russia evidence is not uh, a thing because there's no impact to Russia. Now the China, now the China war debate first. Uh, the, the evidence in this question is not very, uh, it's not very good. It talks about influence. Our Jiang and Xi evidence says we can influence trade blocks, which means that we are able to create a multipolar past. Now hedge this hurts China war leader five. The United States plays a unique stabilizing role in Asia. Think this presence reduces competition among powers. This her conflict this engagement would lead to more dangerous competition and threat of nuclear weapons. Even China actually has as America's regional and also there's no war short twelve. So the United States still is the leading economic power in the world. China has made an enormously significant portion of the manufacturing still by foreign companies, including the US from China's largest holder of US foreign reserves. This maybe one of the reasons making a full conflict with the, the US now they're now they now the uh, hedge fails to be uh, now the I can be our evidence is not responsive to this. The Jenkins evidence is we can influence this trade book now. That well that was above now the but McDonald's and Paramount it's, uh, and the transition war scenario is better because it says that if the U.S. were to disengage, it would lead to uh, it would lead to the multipolar system becoming unsustainable, which really leads to uh, wars. The transition wars in Pakistan external. Now, here's the McDonald's Paramount study is wrong. McDonald's Paramount there were relatively few cases of hegemonic transition. One of the only one of our only one of our 18 cases of acute relative decline since 1870, for example, involves a hegemon. Now, the uh, the last argument is that economics are able to check that only the plan can provide sustainable uh, checks, even if those international systems exist. It's a question of enforcement. Hegemony is key to that enforcement, which solves back all the. Of their uh, guards' games now. The ball is to set.
At the top, it doesn't turn terrorism because the absolute, the internal, and the uh, absolute through cause of terrorism through recruitment of terrorism suspects through evidence may, oh, the, the, through evidence only solves domestic border security, which is what the plan would shift from. That is what their evidence is in the context of now. The, the now the no food short. Now, first thing is the no food shortage is where there's no food, uh, there's no food shortage. In empirical studies prove that capital is increasing productivity in all areas. You should reject their claims because they're alarmist. 80% of all incidents are actually just red or dead. Was the one in CFD should prefer because he's, they, um, he specializes in resource uh, and resource management uh, problems with features no, and there's no impact now now the uh, now the uh, now the new passion they concede all their uniqueness works about why there's bipartisanship now the plan uh but that does not trade off with bipartisanship that is happening which means that you think this will overwhelm like none of their cards in this but there are these all these cards contradict the thesis of the uh piece of key arguments which i'll get to in a moment because this says that banner will bring a vote now which means that republicans agree means that you think this will overwhelm the link especially the card that says that banner is currently working with those people because post shutdown republicans want a win that is not based off of political capital now, there is also no link to the plan. Their uh, backlash evidence is not, is not responsive to the question. Uh, is, is not responsive to this question because there will be no backlash. Now, courts show like they will allow Obama to preserve PC by letting the courts do the dirty work. Stimson denying this administration is trying to create the appearance of a tough national security policy. Yet, a lot of courts make the tough calls on releasing letting the courts do the dirty work. We give the administration plausible cover and distance from the decision making process. But letting the courts do it gives the president, gives the president distance from the unnecessary decision. Though, for the president, won't release the teeny detainee. So, sit back and let the courts do it. He would rather spend that capital on, uh, capital on other policy priorities, market priorities. Now, the capital fails, but capital fails in status quo because negotiations are already on the table. Our evidence is that political capital is a bad thing because it actually uh, means that the president, that the Republicans want to backlash against Obama, which means that there's only rest of the, uh, the status quo is bipartisanship. That is all of their uniqueness evidence, which means that it's a question of uh, if, if they win their link, then Obama's PC is reduced. Still means that if bipartisanship happens, their PC high evidence uh, will also concede that piece of evidence because it, it says that the Republicans can exploit those things. 420?
disadd the anion hedge. Or first other hedge. Actually, um, I don't know. I, I, in my flow, I have it like the offense flow in one part, and then like the, the kind of terrorism stuff flow in another part. It's starting with the hedge offense, and then after that will be some of the, their terror stuff. So the hedge stuff, I sort of have a block at the bottom of the flow, and the terrorism stuff is just like their advantage. This is the advantage. Yeah. It's so really it, the stuff up top. Yeah. Right, like the so it's like the half cause of terror. Those yeah. are, okay. Gotcha. So you, you're going to go to the hedge stuff first. Yes. Kind of back up. Okay. Got it. <coughs> Circling means that yeah, there's no offense the, uh, offense of this flow there. Uh, then also the unique straight the unique straight almost like through the passage is not one of the uh, hedge jump the hedge jump even hedge uh, solves work for the hedge solves work because the hedge solves proliferation. Uh, but the hedge jump causes proliferation. I'm sorry, this is uh, the hedge jump causes proliferation. Are uh, what Robert says phenomenal says that the gas proliferation causes all the countries to uh, want to balance the efficiency that happens faster, which makes the game over means that yeah, the hedge jump causes extinction. Yeah, the hedge jump causes extinction. This is a conceded impact, which makes the game over. Yeah, I should not have to read about the wheel here. This uh, the game over leads to the extinction. This is the filter has to be which makes the game over. Yeah, 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 which makes the Japanese souls for which they have not island, they, 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 they have not island. We have uh, a specific rational actors like Iran and North Korea and other uh, countries who want to get for uh, who want to get uh, who want to get uh, who want to get nuclear uh, weapons uh, and the Jane Sherman says that it could put rock up liberal institutions, maybe and uh, maybe run the risk of war that's a nebulous risk. They uh, can see that it, it is it, uh, this is a this is a conceded impact this uh, first an impact with a whole shit ton of defense on it now uh, also causes recalcitrant uh, the recalcitrant powers which may uh, because they want to seek security the uh, will that really resolve this question because they uh, can seek security in other means like aligning with they, uh, other hedge bond, uh, with another hedge bond, this uh, uh, makes a game over for them because the countries do not want uh, to get weapons in the context of, uh, uh, they do not want to get weapons if they uh, have another means to deter, uh, uh, another means to deter and, uh, and uh, uh, assert their own power. This is uh, uh, this is the uh, war evidence and the uh, piece of Knowles evidence from the 2 nc that uh, uh, already is the embarrassing evidence, uh, is, the, uh, is the impact of the uh, uh, it also turns the terrorism advantage, they have conceded, uh, uh, our lane evidence is better and says that the uh, uh, unipolarity and intervening in places is the root cause of hegemony, that is their war, this is, they just say that, uh, we control the root cause. That is bullshit. I am intervening in Iraq and Afghanistan is one prop that uh, institutions like Al Qaeda and other places makes it uh, very hard for them to win a causal uh, claim here. Not really a really causal claim here. This is uh, a causal claim here. Invalid great uh, re re recalcitrant power would resolve that because it means that we would not be seen as assholes in the Middle East and other places that we intervene. They have uh, also conceded, uh, but our government also said that we would try to be more interventionist, which is probably a bad thing. Causes uh, more to the cause more intervention in the uh, in the Indian They say that Hedge Germany solves where there are three cards here that are just better and truer. Uh, this argument. What is our war? Uh, our first piece of our evidence is the institutions check any uh, risk of any risk of it. This is not uh, mean that the United States is key to those institutions. Even if the United States can properly these systems, that does not mean that they would collapse absent the United States. There is no reverse causal uh, evidence. They can use correlation with causation. Second is the interconnectedness of economies and the institutions. Economies have mutual interest. No one wants to go to war anymore because of uh, how, how devastating it would be. The only scenario in which war happens is if irrational actors uh, happen. They also concede the security, a security power and actually the cooperation is only possible in the context of in, in the context of uh, the recalcitrant powers when you are unable they uh, perceives it as offensive and people try to be a uh, uh, revisionist in the status quo. This is uh, empirically this is uh, empirically true in 19. Uh, recalcitrant revisionism is bad. Uh, the Japan's bombing of Pearl Harbor also proves this that uh, they try to uncertain the status quo when we are offensive and not defensive. Defensive. Uh, is good. This is also our Schwaller events. They've conceded multipolarity solves all well, of their offense. The, the reason I was harping on this card and cross axis is because it is fucking awesome. There is no scenario in which the multipolarity causes war because it leads to a cooperation there. Uh, their thesis is outdated and relies on a bold, uh, a bad logic. The uh, liberal order would not be undermined in the end. Uh, the liberal order would not be undermined in the end. Uh, new institutions would say, uh, prop up the same uh, situation, just a different balance of power, which does not cause war. Uh, uh, does not cause war. Now they say, uh, they say they saw the impact. They saw the impact. That is not true. Uh, was the answer of Bob Nari? Do the transition wars work here? This, this, this is where this is where they lose it. There, uh, the, the, the only other evidence they have is uh, one card from 1997 that says that this engagement could lead to the war. Uh, possible wars are guards given says that in this new age it would never happen. And only McDonald Parent have done a statistical study from the 1870s uh, onward and says that in one case uh, the hedgehog caused war, but 17 other cases uh, disproven independently. Uh, independently, they, they also made the, the comparative study that it is 
more likely to be peaceful, etc. Uh, recalcitrant powers there. Uh, one card is disproven by the guards here, which says that this and this card age there would not. Uh, it would not cause wars. It would not cause wars. Now I'm not. Uh, I do not need to go for uh, the China and Russia stuff uh, because they have conceded. Uh, they, I don't concede the impact defense uh, from both those means that the means that there is the, 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 the means that uh, the, those wars are not like, that's not offense for them. However, the, there is still no defense to the no uh, still no defense to proliferation of uh, rogue states acting. The, the proliferation of rogue states acting. If Russia and China don't go to war, then what conflict does the Jimmy solve? Oh, also if Russia and China do not go to war, then uh, that doesn't solve any conflicts of the interview. The actors that would proliferate do not care if the United States is a hegemon, uh, but if, if they are held on, uh, if they are held on, they're attacking the United States only, uh, only withdrawing, uh, withdrawing forces and, uh, and recalcitrant power and, and uh, uh, shifting to a strategy multipolarity would resolve this. Uh, question. Also the, also, the plan does not solve any uh, backlash or lash or arguments. They would not cling to power. That is our McDonald's period evidence also. Uh, they, 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 have no, they have no evidence that we would actually lash out there. Uh, there is no evidence that we would lash out. That we would be peaceful and shift to a strategy. That is our wild evidence. that the liberal order does not want to lash out anymore because of the economic defense. They have no answers to the nuances of arguments. Even if they have uh, a card to everyone, their arguments are more nuanced between two and two. They are extrapolations should be uh, disregarded because they are uh, disregarded because all of this work was done in the two and see now the terrorism uh, portion of the debate. Terrorism, uh, partial Pure evidence is better and says that there is, there, there, there is no cooperation. They do not have the talent pool because terrorists are rather imbeciles, so they cannot be trusted, which means that no one wants to uh, get in there, get in there. Also, they the, the communication uh, venues in which they would, uh, which, uh, which, in which they would, would cause, uh, will cause them to get caught, which means that terrorism, can, uh, that terrorism cannot escalate independently. Uh, but independently, our uh, aggregate evidence says better and says that there is a consensus of experts that the Al Qaeda is done, the Al Qaeda is done, the Al Qaeda is done, and then uh, because they cannot carry out any large scale attacks, they are not seeking to do that anymore, which means motivation is gone. Uh, motivation is gone. Terrorism, even if terrorism leads to extinction, we but then when they cannot acquire a WMD, which means they cannot uh, escalate independently. If it did, it would rather uh, uh, regional ties would, the multiplayer would result in the regional uh, escalation there. Uh, yeah, and the Doric evidence is uh, also answered by the uh, terrorists. Can't get the weapons.
that this is the part where they say that hegemony causes prolific hegemony is key to solve the bandwagoning effect. This is the Zhang and Xi evidence indicates that we are key to key to prop up trade blocks, and that absent the United States, the hegemon on these things will inevitably decline, and that causes proliferation because it creates an every man for himself. The attitude and countries are not able to sustainably prop each other up and trust the legitimacy. They're not responding to the Knowles evidence in the tumor, which indicates that legitimacy is the only thing to ensure a safe and sustainable form of hedge that does not link to their often the, the, the legitimate form of hedge is different and causes sustainable deterrence, which they don't have a response to. There's not a, they, we, we, we're the only country that can solve bandwagon effect. So, so, substantial and sufficient international institutions, which means that we can solve that. His answers here are that pro proliferators are irrational, but proliferators can still be threatened by the United States as the hegemon, which means that if other countries see us as legitimate, then that will the prop up our deterrence because they believe that we will attack them if they start to develop a nuclear weapons program, which means that hedge can solve for the terminal effects of their prolif arguments. They say that they don't want that they that they do not want weapons if there's another way to assert their power, but the, stat the status quo previous such and through the, the weapons desire is not linked to the relative amount of U.S. power, but rather to what they think they can get away with, which a sustainable deterrent will solve. They say that unipolarity is the root cause of terrorism. This is fundamentally not true. Our Welsh evidence and our and our, our Welsh evidence and the Shining evidence is remarkably good on how detention is what causes people to become terror, creates embittering and proximate causes, and also solves the reason that people become terrorists and cause lash out. It gives them the reason for their narrative, which is distinct from a narrative that says that the United States is more powerful. This argument does not respond to the internal link to the uh, app advantage at all. They say that there's no correlation between, uh, there's no Wait, causation. Even if they win that, and for, there's no way to enforce it. Okay. Even if they win that, there's no way to enforce it without hegemony, which means that we are we are necessary to solve for terrorism and sufficient. They, even if okay, the one of the last arguments that they make on the flow is multipolarity solves the offense. I've answered this above in the transition wars debate, but additionally they can access this because they don't have a way to prop up bandwagoning and legitimacy in a world of decline and multipolarity. That was above. Additionally, they say that there's no defense to rogue pro. If they are right that the one ER does not extend a defense card, but the one ER extends defensive arguments about why terrorism is the root cause and hegemony can solve for the impact. If we solve the impact, then there is not a reason that we have to also have defense to prolif because we solve any escalation from pro proliferation. Additionally, they say that if Russia and China don't go to war, there's not an impact. We solve for a number of smaller conflicts that would escalate. The Zhang and Xi evidence is really specific on how other wars will escalate as a result of the decline of trade walks and bandwagoning effects. It means that the only way to solve for their impact is to allow for United States of Germany. Sure. Give me a second. Give me a
pile them up so that I can go through the ones that I'm looking for if I need to use them as a specific individual card. I mean, for, you know, basically, you know, I mean, obviously the recalcitrant yeah. cards, the, you know, itinerary, you know, the McDonald's and Perry, the, you can use a McDonald's and Perry index, the transitional work card. I want, yeah, I want the cards that you were referencing, so I can go ahead and give you uh, a list of those. Um, let's see. I mean, I want the Transition Wars card to go for. I want the Bad Lightning card to go for. The Knowles card, I guess, is the Bad Lightning one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Welsh and Shine. I don't know that's meant to be. That's not a specific one. Well, Welsh and Shine. Mm-hmm.
Expecting to wake up to a gigantic uh, hedge grip and bad paper this morning, but uh, nonetheless, I uh, thought it was that uh, ended up being a pretty good debate. Um, I think the force of the force of the evidence is on the side of the negative in this debate. Um, not to say that the Twitter uh, didn't make some compelling arguments that had the evidence been much stronger on some of the points uh, would have been more compelling, um, and had some of the two and R nuances been addressed. I'm just, sorry, I will show. Uh, so let me sort of go through each position and uh, talk about uh, just a couple of slight nuances that uh, I think the negative has, particularly on the hegemony argument, but I'll go through sort of each position so you sort of see how I evaluate each of them. The sort of overarching issue is there are some updated hegemony arguments that um, I think the 2NR makes a persuasive case that uh, they're sort of ahead on like new research on hegemony bad, like it's not your standard sort of like Calzone versus Lane. Um, and they've got some interesting nuances about why the world orders changed some of the cards, you, some of the key cards that you read, not in time. Now I'm not saying all your cards are out of date. But some of the key cards you need to win, um, they have evidence that makes some pretty um, good distinctions between uh, the world of maybe what it looked like in 97, early 2000s, and uh, the sort of pronounced role of globalization in creating, in creating a new force of economic interdependence that uh, substantially weakens uh, the impact of a U.S. decline um, and strengthens the possibility of uh, re the possibility that multipolarity may be better than we thought before. So let me go through sort of each of the positions and talk about sort of how I evaluated them. Um, in terms of the the risk and terrorism, I, you know, I think that you know obviously they uh, don't do a great job um, on the terrorism case, not solving terrorism arguments. You know, they don't. Uh, invest in the specific arguments that they had before, you know, about the sort of like, you know, link turns to the case that, uh, you know, releasing people from detention means high value targets go back on the battlefield, you know. So I think that you're certainly ahead on that question. Um, but then I, I sort of do have questions about whether or not the app has the most ex exclusive internal link into uh, motivation for attack and recruiting. Uh, your case, your argument, your evidence does. There's one small distinction that your evidence makes that I don't know if it uh, gets to getting you to the level of me thinking detention's root cause. I think detention's a significant cause of our perceptions with our allies, which could hurt our ability to cooperate with allies in the war on terror. I don't know if that evidence actually goes as far as to say, and maybe it does in the underlying parts, and maybe I'm not reading it right, that it's the, the detention, like you have sort of recruiting arguments that detention is a, uh, you have a really good internal link into international credibility. But in terms of like the rationale for why terrorists want to destroy the United States, detention is one significant galvanizing factor, but they also read evidence that just also says like the QS unipolarity is also a very significant factor as well. Uh, that you know when we tried to you know wield ourselves as a global hegemon, that that of course is you know one of the foundational reasons, you know, like that's a pretty big recruiting tool as well. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, detention certainly is, yeah, one of those root causes. I think that what you should have, I think, sort of, what would what, have helped you, I think, a little bit, let me try to process how I think this argument will go down, is that what we end up debating is hegemony, good, bad, without how the app and the app harms interact with certain kinds of things. So, right, would the transition be that great is if in the process we are haphazardly, you know, detaining people um, and, you know, trying to prosecute this war on terrorism, you know, going it alone. Like, I think that a 2AR, or, you know, if this argument is established better, I think a 2AR that would have made more significant inroads into what is the key thing to accessing the terrorism impact would have said, would have been, their evidence doesn't also, doesn't assume, assumes a world where we sort of just gently step back. 
Um, whereas I think you could sell a story that like the transition is really messed up, not because you know they have good evidence on transition wars, but I think what complicates our transition wars arguments is if in the process of decline we become this like uh, floundering behemoth just wielding our power at will, you know, like because like you're basically saying we fix heads, we make it better, we make a good kind of leadership, and you let them characterize you as the sort of bad unipolar hedge hegemony, and, the, and don't let the like the multilateralism arguments that seemed to develop earlier that didn't have like, needed some more evidence there would have been the better way of spinning this and saying like the transition is theoretically possible, but not in a world where the U.S. is this, this just this giant lumbering behemoth that is inevitably you know declining. Uh, that transition is not great. So the U.S. needs to change, be the hegemon, but it must do so in a way that is much more benevolent. And that's what the app really does. It's about sort of bolstering credibility, not about, like, what I ended up thinking is what was confused is I was like, how did this debate end up just in terms of, like, U.S. kicking ass good, U.S. kicking ass bad? Is what the debate ended up kind of being, even though it, it shouldn't have been that, it should have been, like, I think you could have sort of internally turned, like, we, your cards don't assume the kind of hedge we are doing. Like, that, that's what I was trying to distinguish when I read all the evidence and I'm like, and then I look back and I'm like, the, the, a 2AR, and maybe this is not, you know, I'm not, you know, maybe this needs to be set up earlier, is to say all of your hedge bad cards assume a, like, military, you know, just a bellicose United States is just, like, using its power at, you know, you know, in, in ways that is incredibly dangerous. Uh, that's not the kind of hegemony we're talking about. We're talking about a hegemony where we lead. Um, and then to talk about what bandwagoning really means, like you say you cause bandwagoning, but what you need to do is say this is the kind of bandwagoning that we lead by great example, by being awesome and not by using our power in ways that are uh, detrimental to cooperation. Like if you had sort of sold this argument like that we create a, a hegemony that's rooted in a cooperation, like explain bandwagoning in that kind of way, then I read their evidence differently if that's the two AR are and that, and, and that maybe there's one or two more cards. Because um, the reason I reread the one I see evidence is I wanted to see if that international credibility said something about like creating, um, you know, like multilateral organizations and things like that. Um, and it kind of implied like the world order would be better, more peaceful. But I wanted to see that kind of that sort of like go the further step, the step further that like no, this would bolster an international order that the United States would be a benevolent kind of hegemon, not a violent one that's you know imprisoning people and renditioning them, throwing people and doing you know horrible stuff, right? That's you should say that's what their evidence actually you know assumes. We don't link to that stuff. Okay. That's the thing. And so what ends up happening then is that they've got a couple of small nuances in the hedge debate that that make a difference. Um, one of them is this. Oh, yes. Can I just confirm? Do you think that to be making that, like, you don't link that argument, we need to have different cards or more cards, or that I just need to be making it based on what we have? Not a lot. I think maybe one more card. Okay. I was just thinking one more of those sort of like, we lead to a transition to a new kind of multilateral hedge that's pretty sweet. More, one, one more of those cards, and then, and then the toy R is like, these are not, this is not the hedge debate you're looking for. Like, this is not. <laughs> this is not this is not 1997, you know, hedge good, hedge bad. This is this is different. What we're uh, talking about boosting U.S. hegemony, but not in a way that's like, you know, like your app isn't like we massively boost the U.S. military defense budget. So that you know, you're you're not that, you're not like kraut hammer unilateralism. Let's just like stomp on everybody until all our opponents are defeated. That's not your hegemony. That's what they're characterizing your app as. And I'm like, your app was like get rid of indefinite detention. I don't know how that led to this like blundering hegemony that they're sort of characterizing the app as. And so basically, one more card and just spin. Like, they're just spinning it in a way that I'm like, I don't know if the app does this, but you never sort of stop and say, is this really the hegemony that we link to? So I think that that's, the, that's sort of the reason they win, is that like, I don't necessarily know if they're right about like the link to this particular kind of hegemony, but I think you just get so caught up in the, the nuances of like, okay, this is head good, head bad. I have to, you know, there are always key markers when you're in that debate, you know when you're in it, and then you know the arguments you gotta win. But there would be a more transcendent argument is this is, we're debating this as if the app was like massively boost military defense spending or like, you know, some sort of other, you 
you know, case, and we're like, no, we're just saying, like, if we don't look like assets anymore, people are going to cooperate with us, and it's a soft, like, your, your manager is basically soft power. Okay. Like, that's basically, I mean, like, you don't call it that, but it, it really yeah. is. It's just like, we, you know, you, you get more cooperation when you're not a jerk kind of hegemony, not like, no, you could kick in people's asses constantly to have hegemony. And they're characterizing your app that way, which just gives them so much more credibility. I think that you could then easily dismiss half the cards that you're eating. But, you know, because I don't think your app is unipolarity. They're, they're characterizing as unipolarity. I'm like, yeah, I think it's sort of like benevolent, soft power, leadership. Um, so th I guess that's sort of the big kind of category that ends up you know, winning them a large risk of that. Um, and in, in that case, you know, I think because they win that, it gives them greater access to the terrorism advantage that I don't think they should have had. Okay. Because like their cards about like if the US is unipolar, that's the root cause why like, you know, Al Qaeda that's why Al Qaeda formed. I mean they have these kind of cards like that. I'm like, I don't know if the app is that kind of hegemony. So if they're you know, if they're missing that, then I don't then I think you win like a much larger risk of the terrorism advantage. I don't think that, that they access it in the same kind of way. I mean I think they maybe have some, you know, sort of vague like regional balancing to solve terrorism, but like the in terms of root cause your argument about detention would be bolstered by like, you know, the other real root cause when we, not just, not just about detention, it's like how we wield our power. Not all wielding of US power is bad. If we wield it for like good, then we're less likely to create an incentive to attack the United States, right? If we're not like, you know, renditioning people and droning people, then, you know, maybe we would look better um, and we could be that way. Um, so that's sort of why they're, because that characterization, that's what gives them terror, like, this sort of larger yeah, presumption yeah. of like the root cause, the real root cause, like detention's one of them, but it, there's even a root, more deeper root to that, which is like we just well, beat up and abuse this Islamic world, and that's why people get radicalized. Okay. So I don't know, so basically they characterize it as that you do something soft to lead to something hard that then causes <laughs> the impacts to happen because it's the, you know, because it's the hard and bad hegemony that's the root cause. Does that make sense, like, why they're getting access to that attack? I don't feel like, like, that's why I get frustrated, because I'm like, I don't think they should be winning this, based on what my belief about the app is. And then they end up doing it. So, that that's sort of like, I guess that's how I sort of encapsulate my decision in that regard. I mean, like, I can talk about other specific things, like comparison between, like, transition work cards and stuff like that, but that's I don't know if that makes sort of makes sense about how it is. Yeah. Like I think that you're in a different, you know, I don't know if the debate goes down slightly differently, one or two cards right differently, and then a, a slightly different focus on the two AR would I was sort of I would have been like, yeah, this this head to head just doesn't land in the same way. This, okay. Right? Because there's different kinds of you know, you know that. There's just different kinds of hegemony. So instead of like I spent a lot of the two AR focusing on like comparisons between the current hegemony and I should have focused on like yeah, and just, and just fundamentally questioning, like, whether is this the kind of unipolarity that they're evidently talking about, right? Do you really think that terrorists are going to be more motivated at them because we removed detention policies and then tried to spur a world order based on norms rather than might, right? Like, they're sort of characterizing your app as, like, we do something really benevolent so that we can have lots and lots of power abuse people. It's like, I don't know if that's what the app really does, but that's how they end up, that's why they end up characterizing it. So yeah, that, I guess that's the key thing, is like the digging into the, the internal like kind of questions. And if I begin to doubt that, then, you know, I'm like, well, it seems like multilateralism would be a, just as good or, well, probably a better alternative for multi like, U.S. leadership in a multilateral world probably sounds better than a world of multilateral. Comparing those two worlds would be a really good two AR to give, and say there's more likely, to give. and then that gives you a lot more offense on transition wars, right? If that transition, you know, that transition is going to be way rockier than a transition to a soft path of U.S. leadership in, through international norms. That is less likely to be create instability than a transition to regional balancers who. They, you know, they read some evidence that's like, well, because of economic interdependence, regional balancing isn't as bad anymore. But I think it, you know, you could easily win, be that as it may, there's probably a much larger risk of instability in that transition period, even
even though there's some mitigating factors in these, then just like a, you know, U.S. being a benevolent hegemon. But it, you know that I was it was close in that regard because I was like I had to like go to like really micro level nuances to figure out what was going on in this debate and how how I'm in this world of thinking like you know I get to the decision and I'm like how did we get here I just don't even know how we ended up getting to this place because I don't even know if the app is doing this but the app seems willing to defend unipolarity so let's go with that. Um, In the context of this debate, probably. Um, I agree. Like I agree. Politics would have, you know, I mean, politics would have been much more complicated. The one AR on politics was really good, by the way. So, like, it was good. Like the distinctions the one AR made on politics were good. I like them. I like one AR too. In that regard, that's kind of I, I. And I think that okay. he almost pulled, like forced your your hand on the answer. Yeah, I because I mean after the one AR, like I, I saw that you have defense before like I thought. Doing the, the politics stuff, it would have been. But I agree with every characterization you made about the hedge stuff. They probably should have been a little more careful had they had those nuances. Like, yeah, I mean, if they, if they had just if they had just a couple more cards and like we cause multi lat and multi lat solves all of your offense, I mean, like, because I really looked up into the cards, I'm like, I'm going to really see if they're going to make the argument. And they they come close, but they don't, they don't, you know, none of them explain like the sort of bandwagon world um, in a way that makes it. Distinct from your characterization of the app as being unipolar. Okay, that uh, Had it, and had they had like one or two more cards and then spun that, I would have won. Because, you know, because like, you know, out of the context of this debate, I don't really know what they're like, right. unipolar exhaustion. I agree. 